hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to do something very interesting so this is a new sketchbook that i've got and i thought let's start it with something very different and creative the pages are really good thick high quality almost 300 gsm so it would be nice for doing some watercolor painting and this is the palette that i'm going to use today so i have divided it into two parts first the warm tones together in this palette arranged in a specific way and the cool tones which are also arranged in a specific way and i've taken that same in my watercolor palette so these 24 shades i'll be using today to show you various types of color mixing so you need these uh, empty spaces to mix the paint and i would uh, request you to use uh, brush pens which are really interesting because they have uh, water adding capacity on the surface of the paper itself so these are really nice you need a small sponge to clean up the surface when uh, you are done by mixing one particular type of color all you need is some water just dip it inside it and remove the excess dirty paint and you are ready to go try to remove all the contamination so that you have the purest form of mixing and this is the way how you learn to use watercolors on your palettes so this is what we are going to create today some warm and cool uh, color hues uh, palettes which will be used for future references so first you need to understand what is color intensity so you have darkest shades on one row and then by uh, removing excess paint you try to create various intensity colors from the same shade so these are my swatches that I had done few days back and you can find the video of the same on my channel I'll put it in the description as well as you can click on the i button to see it and this way I have created four swatches for the warm and the cool tones which is really important to understand before we start this exercise so go and watch that first and then you can come back to this video later so for this i have used the highest intensity pigment from each shades of uh, the colors available all 24 in the darkest form this is really fun so in the notebook you need to create almost uh, uh, 12 by 12 grids you can take the size of each grid depending on the size of paper you have so i had a5 size so i've almost taken half a centimeter to one centimeter and then we just start putting the representative colors in the rows and the columns starting from rose matter to burnt sienna and the same goes in the upper column so it's kind of a color cross grid that will help you to uh, understand the mixing of each warm tone with the another warm tone so i'm creating this diagonal so that you understand that it's the representative color and then we keep on mixing each shade with the 12 different shades and prepare this grid the interesting part is that uh, you will understand how beautifully the color comes out you know uh, it will give you some amazing pastel shades which I did not expect will come from this because I thought it, the brighter the colors are they will mix and give you a more brighter tone but that's not the case every time it gives some really cool uh, and uh, pleasant colors which are really good you can use them for autumn paintings some very aesthetic paintings uh, if you are doing using the warm tones so this is a very fun interesting exercise to understand colors in depth as a beginner you can choose any color i would rather say that you start with a very basic palette of primary colors that is red yellow and green and see what are the exceptional uh, chances of getting you know discovering new shades from your own imagination try to mix with different intensities so this is the final result that i've got most of them are in the yellows because almost four shades i'm using of yellow here and this is really beautiful and good to pick your shade whatever it's a like a good reference card for your future paintings if you need to pick what color you want so you already have something in hand you can quickly choose from and you know what colors you have to mix 
to get the results so this is how it came out and this is truly truly amazing remarkable piece excellent for beginners who want to understand how watercolors work and this will allow you to mix and match in different proportions now we move on to the next part that is uh, the warm tones are done now we will go to the cool tones so for this we have mostly the greens starting from you know light green then we have sap green thalo green deep greens then we have the blues cerulean blue ultramarine blue cobalt blue prussian blue then we have violet and purple and lastly the white and black so all of these are arranged in a specific way and the same order i'm doing it on my paper here just take a little bit of paint in the brush and add it to your respective representative rows and columns and i think this would work amazingly especially adding black and white to this will give you an idea how dark or light the tones get i specifically love it with the white because when we mix white with any of these shades the shade becomes very pastel it looks amazing it just tones down the brightness of that color which can be used like a gauche paint that we are uh, using nowadays a lot it's in trend so that's how you can use that and see uh, how beautiful it is coming out with the blacks and the whites i have first completed those rows and then you can keep on doing it You can easily rub off these uh, tiny tiny color mixing that you are doing with the sponge and then add next uh, shades on the palette and then mix and start adding it to your this swatch. For example here I have taken cerulean blue and I am mix mixing it with the next 5 shades in the palette. So it makes the things easy. Uh, it will not look very hectic to you because it is kind of uh, very uh, tough to do this but if you do it in a certain way it will maximize your work output and reduce the energy so this is the trick that you can uh, drop the one particular shade five to six times and then keep on adding the next shade so one color at a time can be done so yeah this is amazing exercise that every one of you should try to do as a beginner watercolor artist and also you should try to understand the color wheel the secondary colors you know and then the tertiary colors that come from mixing of the secondary colors maybe i'll make a video for that sometime but this one is really a must for every beginner you need to have a great understanding of the palette that you are using and what kind of mixings can help you to come up with uh, new beautiful shades also i have done it for only warm tones and cool tones separately what you can do is mix the warm tones with the cool tones and see how it comes out for example mixing red with the cerulean blue or yellow ochre with the ultramarine blue just see how you know the colors uh, take a new turn what kind of pigmentation uh, is required to obtain a certain level of uh, saturation and things like that and you can simply just rub it off with the help of a sponge i mean this is really time saving it's a savior and you should definitely apply this trick instead of using a cloth or damp paper towel or whatever you can just simply go for the sponge it's the best so we are almost done with the blue palette and it looks amazing to me i would really recommend all of you to start making such palettes
i had just added a paper at the back side of this so that no extra paint drips and flows to the other side because just behind it i have painted the warm tones and next to it is the cool tones so that you can quickly have a look for reference if you are painting florals or any other scenery or landscape or whatever it is so that's the final look of it You can use a black pen to just have a clear cut demarcation of every tone, just outline it. So these are some of the paintings that I have done using this palette. You can see none of these colors or hues are available in the palette but by mixing and understanding the pigments you can create such paintings. A lot of floral paintings I have done. You can see some of the samples here, it's a rose, tulip kind of amalgamation bouquet and you can add mix match as much as you want white plays a very vital role to make it a bit pastel or you know lower the temperature of a particular paint that is really interesting you can always add some black outlines to your paintings and this way it looks really interesting i hope you enjoyed that video and some of these floral paintings are available on my channel you can go and watch these tutorials in the time lapse mode you can just increase the speed to see how i've painted them and i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you like it so please comment what else you'd like to see on my channel and uh, hope uh, you have a good day ahead like subscribe share and comment we will meet again the next time with another interesting video till then bye bye and please like and subscribe see you bye